Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with TheHealthyHaven.net and AlkalizeWithAndrea.com here in beautiful San Francisco. You probably hear some chopping going on upstairs. That's my boyfriend's lovely sister. She's like into the chopping. She makes food just as good, if not better, than I do. And her husband definitely makes amazing looking food. Uh, we are here in San Francisco and... Uh, kind of a rainy day on this Christmas day. Merry Christmas. And I wanted to do this video for all of you for a very specific reason. Um, and that's because I know Christmas... Oh, you might hear a game too. That's also them. They like their football and basketball. And I'm sure baseball too. Uh, we're here um, because I want to do this video for you for a very specific reason. And that's because... You know, I realize that Christmas is not the best for everyone, that there's a lot of you out there that maybe have lost loved ones around this time or are alone this holiday, and that just isn't a good feeling. And so I'm sure when the holidays come around, you're just like, eh, not so much. And um, so, you know, as I went across my Facebook feed, uh, the other morning, everything was, you know, about their loved ones with Christmas. And then I came across uh, someone that said, you know, Christmas is not a good time for me. It's actually a very sad time for me. And um, that made me think that maybe I should shoot this video. So I love Christmas. I've always loved Christmas. My mom made Christmas an amazing holiday since we were very little. Uh, but I'm a little sad too because my oldest sister is in Ohio, my sister Stacy, and uh, my other sister I'll see on New Year's Eve, um, but I don't see my sister Stacy. I haven't seen her in quite some time. And so that makes me sad, and it also, I think, makes her a little sad. So I just wanted to say that this is what I do. I spent the first probably 30 minutes of my day messaging with my sister on Facebook and then I sent her a photo of something I had gotten her, one of her gifts, just as a, you know, pre before I arrive or send the box or whatever. Um, and then also, you know, I make sure and know that she's loved and in our hearts because we're all thinking about her today and none of us are together, none of us girls, my mom and my one sister are, uh, but myself, I'm here with my boyfriend's family, and Stacy's at home in Ohio. So, you know, I realize that, um, you know, some of you may not be with your friends and family and loved ones, and that's super hard. And, you know, the best thing you can do is stay in contact with them. Now, if they have, and make arrangements to see them, and we're doing that, which is going to be amazing. Uh, but another thing, um, you know, many of you have lost loved ones around this time. I know this is probably hard for my mom because she lost my grandma years ago, and they're still very connected spiritually, and it's a hard time for her. So maybe light a candle for that person, say a prayer, and maybe have a conversation one-on-one -on -one with that person. You know, I believe that even when people pass over, they're really still with us. So, and they can hear us and see everything we do. So maybe do that as kind of a ritual every year around Christmas time to lift yourself up. Now, if you're alone during the holiday, that's no fun either. And I got to tell you, I have a lot of experience with that. Uh, I broke off a 10-year relationship a few years back, and I spent several Christmases when I moved to San Diego um, alone. And then I got in a relationship and that broke up right before a holiday. So I remember that was a very dark holiday for me. And this is the first holiday that I've actually been able to experience with someone and being in love and it feels good. And um, I value that. So if you have someone in your life, don't take advantage of that. That's the first thing I want to say because that could be gone in an instant. But if you're alone for this holiday... Know that you can go places. There's there's meetups online. I know that. I'm sure there's at least one local restaurant that's open in the evening. You can take yourself to see a movie later. You can definitely lift yourself up. I wouldn't spend a lot of time online, you know, and 
and moping around feeling sorry for yourself, make yourself a healthy meal and enjoy your day. Connect with your higher power, move your body, do a little yoga, and really appreciate your time alone because who knows, next year you might not be alone. And last but not least, I'm going to say it again. If you are in a relationship, definitely don't take advantage of that because a lot of people don't have that luxury and it can be gone tomorrow. Andrea Cox here wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Post below your thoughts. Be well.